The theatre has to be a space in which we are engaging with ideas and engaging with big ideas and there are there are big ideas canvassed in that in this play whether one of those large ideas is, is Australia's history of xenophobia including this particular 1970s manifestation um, or whether those big ideas are uh, around post-traumatic stress disorder and the, and the legacy of war I think one of the wonderful things about Romerill's dramaturgy is he's, he's not afraid to wrestle um, with big Absolutely. themes and big ideas and that that's very inspiring uh, as, a, as, a, as a contemporary practitioner to see a writer who is that politically engaged and who is that ambitious about their their themes and their ideas. There's a long, long tradition of you know the yellow menace and, and racism going back to the mid 19th century in Australia, and Romerall just takes that up and, and picks up on it and says. What is it for someone who's been brought up in this, social, this society with this sort of racism to then go through the hideous experience of the Burma Thailand Railway and the prison yes. camp Changi? And what does that do to our attitudes to racism then and, and still? One of the fascinating things about the play's treatment of race is that it does situate itself in its 1970s context. Mm. About 25 years after the ending of the war, uh, Japan was our, our number one trading partner and there had been huge opposition from the uh, RSL and others you know, against this and there, were, there was a whole generation of people who wouldn't have anything Japanese in the house and uh, people were just very burnt about it yeah. and, and, and when you were they went to their graves feeling the that way. In the 50s and, and 60s you grew up so, there was always some strange old guy sitting on a park bench in every suburb and you know, Talking say to what's yeah. going on, and yeah. your mum would That's say, right. oh, he was in Chang. Yeah. And, right. and the play uh, confronts that experience directly in that one of the, uh, one of the characters, who may or may not be a flashback or a figment of Les's imagination, confronts him uh, about his betrayal of his, his fellow soldiers through his embracing of all things Japanese. Mm. Uh, so the play yeah. deals very directly yeah. with, that, with that experience. Right. Or so that there's nothing racist about it. John's attitude. No, absolutely obviously. not. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. written a play, and so yeah. he's got a character, Les, who, of course, he's racist. That's where yeah. he grew up in the Depression. You know, he, he lived through the war, only barely survived the war. He's got all, and he's got a culture behind him, uh, which is full of racism, and so he is. But Romwell is not afraid to put that on stage, and in in a, yeah. uh, an and interesting, provocative way, yes, critique, yes, yeah. and ask you to think about what you think yeah. about it. Yeah. No, I think that's absolutely the case. And one of the things that I uh, was surprised by, I suppose, is also the way in which John balances out the kind of the, the race equation, I suppose, in that at one point uh, puts also the, some stories of Japanese loss uh, yeah. and tragedy. Yeah. We have a, a Japanese actor playing, uh, amongst other characters, amongst the, amongst the Japanese, playing a Japanese soldier, uh, but also playing the shipboard waiter. And who, so that, who in the script is a Malay. Or, or possibly pretends to be yeah, Malay. Or possibly be Malay. <laughs> um, okay. Yes. Oh, I'm uh, to which, which, uh, but uh, yes. but uh, you know, I think, I think it, it's, it's, for me, an interesting revision of the work to hear the Japanese perspective in the, in the mouth of a Japanese actor. Yes, I'm aware, no, of course, there's right. been subsequent productions uh, that mm -hmm. put all of the words in the mouths of, of uh, Japanese actors as well. <laughs>